Hello everyone, this is Michael Madden from Remax Unlimited Real Estate, Shot Avenue, Whitehall, Pennsylvania, in the United States. I'm sitting here with Elizabeth Dobson and her mom, uh, Darlene. She just completed being a speaker at TEDx Lehigh River, and it was a fantastic presentation about race and race relations and, and biases and all that. And she has an upcoming event over at the Banana Factory, and if you want to kind of touch upon that and yeah, what absolutely. you did there. Absolutely. So, well, good afternoon or good day, everybody. Um, so I am biracial. This is my awesome mom and uh, my dad's not here, but I was adopted as a baby and my whole family is white. So my TEDx talk um, actually spoke from my perspective as a biracial woman. And because I, as a, uh, as a kid growing up, there weren't a lot of examples of families like mine uh, that were interracial or adoptive that I could see in the media or just a, a, in my community that I grew up in as a whole, I thought it was very important that we have more positive examples of families like ours that exist because there is a growing number of interracial families, there's a growing number of biracial um, children, um, Pew Research actually noted that in 2015, one in seven marriages were interracial. So, yay, there's, there's more <laughs> examples of us. So I thought it would be fantastic, November 18th, Friday, uh, 6.30 to 8.30 at the Banana Factory. Tickets are available on Eventbrite. I wanted to bring families together because I am launching a blog that will speak to families like mine, interracial, adoptive, um, people from a multiracial background, so uh, that we can get together, meet, show children other positive examples, and I will, I will be highlighting, um, actually giving insights from my TEDx talk that I did at the TEDx Lehigh River event. So uh, tickets are available on Eventbrite. And we'd love for you to come out and join us, share, uh, bring your family, um, bring your friends, friends' family, but come out and celebrate with us. And um, uh, tickets are discounted through Tuesday, November 15th. So I think you're going to have the information up there. Like yeah, I'll have it up there. Okay. Yeah, and I just want to say this is a special uh, topic for me because my uh, daughter, Gianna, is biracial. We had adopted her from uh, Louisiana. And all I would say is, you know, I'm in front of such a diverse crowd of people. I don't yeah. really see bias right. in my own mind, but I know it's out there. And, mm -hmm. you know, you see it on the news every day, what goes on. And there's, you know, there's some issues out there that people need to get together on. And I, 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 you're brave. I know you're, <laughs> she's actually out there now global talking about something that uh, I was telling a little bit before. Like she's just in the... Uh, the bee's nest right now. <laughs> so don't take it personally when you well, bring up sensitive topics like this because yeah. you, people have all kinds of varying views on this. A absolutely. And for, but for me, it's more so for the sake of the next generation. Right. Because within, within the safety of our homes, like you said, it's like we don't see color because our family's our family and that's, right. that's, that's how we know and understand love and affection. But w you don't know what your kids are hearing at school right. on their way to school. It could be jokes, it could be um, negative, I mean, it could be blatant negative comments, but that's, and kids are not always going to be open about, I don't think kids are always uh, comfortable or proactive about sharing some of those negative experiences. Right. So I think it's important that parents are proactive in getting their kids connected with other examples. Like, mom, um, there was another... <laughs> I grew up in a small town in, in Danville, Pennsylvania, and there was another family, a um, white family who had adopted a biracial girl who was a few years older than me, and my parents were adamant about quickly getting me connected so we could be buds and we're still great friends to this day. She's like a sister to me. Um, but it, it's a, that those kind of connections are important because when kids are looking for how to identify and looking for examples from the, of themselves, it helps to see other positive examples out there that you can relate to. Yeah, and it was really nice to meet Darlene today and talk about how it is to have a daughter that has an afro and has that kind of hair. Yes, the hair terrible. drama. Terrible. Yeah, yes. and you know, when, do when Gianna was growing up, I mean, it was just, it, you gotta learn. Yeah. And, and you know, I'd be at Walmart <laughs> or, or, you know, out there asking black women, how do you deal with your hair? And they're looking at me like I'm some creepy guy. And I'm like, but but you she know, did that too. It's funny. I think that's yeah. like universal. You know, my mom at, 
it, it, whether it was the mall, the grocery store, it was, sorry, well, you know, you say, do you mind if I ask you? She's the shy person, but that was one thing that you would not be shy about for my sake, or right. maybe for yours too, because it was not no, easy. No, we had band concerts and parties, and I wanted you to be happy with how you looked. Yeah. Yeah, and I think too it's important too. Like the more we come, become more and more connected through yeah. Facebook and all these other platforms, we're a global society, like yeah. it or not. And the more we can kind of understand our different cultures and respect them, I think it's very important. Yeah. So I, I you know, props to you for doing what you got, you're doing Thank now, you. and having the courage to go out there and really speak your mind about that. Yeah. Right. Thank you. And it also includes, you know, other p backgrounds. Like we have a very good family friend who is uh, half Korean. And yes, exactly. It's white, not only black, white, right, Asian, right. Hispanic. Yeah, we're, I mean, welcome it, everybody. Right. Yeah. So it's it's it's. Uh, I'm excited about the launch. Uh, FamilyRemix.com. You can find us on Facebook. Um, you can go to the website now and um, subscribe. So once the blog launches, you you won't miss a thing. But we're super excited. Not only that, but November is National Adoption Month. Oh, so awesome. for people who have even thought about adoption or have, uh, uh, or are thinking about adoption or have been touched by adoption in some way, I'm actually going to get uh, want to get connected and bring out local organizations that are uh, involved with the adoption process or the foster care process to have them be a part of the event as well. So. Um, and if you just want to come out and meet great people and network, like we're going to have a great time. Right. There's, there's going to be a, a, um, a, a photo booth and we're going to have a great experience. There's going to be refreshments, but, um, and special uh, swag bags for the first 20 tickets purchased. So you're going to want to get to that website, familyremix.com, and um, be a part of that event. If you, as a business, would like to sponsor, we'll have uh, sponsor information available on the website as well. Or you can contact me directly, Elizabeth Dobson. You can find me on Facebook or Liz at FamilyRemixed.com. That's Liz at FamilyRemixed.com. And uh, so that you can be a part of that event, get connected. These are families who are very uh, involved with their community and are very involved with their children's lives. So mm -hmm. um, come out and, and participate. But... That'd be greatly appreciated. Awesome. And in closing, Elizabeth is actually be one of the presenters at the Lehigh Valley Elite Network Morgan's meeting, which is going to be uh, Thursday. I think it's November 6th. Mm -hmm. So that's from 8 to 10 in the morning. So she's actually going to be doing Facebook Live. Oh. So that's a little interesting there. We've been testing this Facebook Live with some of the uh, presentations out there, and we're getting a tremendous response out there. So it's given an opportunity for a lot of the local business owners to actually reach out beyond the actual meeting room and get their business in front of, you know, uh, six, seven, eight hundred, a yeah. thousand people on Facebook and kind of build their brand awareness out there. So she's actually going to be one of the presenters. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about doing your launch with you, and yeah, uh, this is you. great stuff. So if you're interested in seeing the upcoming schedule, it's at LehighValleyEliteNetwork.com or uh, just Google search business networking or social media. I'm sure it will show up somewhere in those searches. Yeah. So we're signing off for now. Anything last minute you want to say? Um... No, we, we check out the website, like I said, familyremix.com, and, uh, you know, appreciate all of the support, and there's been, and I got to thank everybody who supported along this way, because I have just been completely overwhelmed from all the support across the country from mm -hmm. people who have encouraged true. me through my process with writing the t my um, uh, TEDx talk and, um, and beyond, so thank you, and excited to continue this journey, so... Right. And I would just like to say, uh, have Liz give her motto. Oh, yes, because our family like remix it. motto is that we don't look alike, but we love a lot. So, uh, That was such a mom thing to do. That was, that was my mom would say the same thing. But like, make sure you get that in there. That was great. So, yes. all right, so we're signing off for now. So yeah, we keep this short you. enough so people will actually view it. So right. we'll talk soon. Okay. Signing off for now. Thank you, everyone.